Fuck! Nazi. Omae ni itte mo wakaru mo ne. Yakitta no ka? Ya Haruto! Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. Today we finally take a look at a mixture of a retro and modern gaming that combine into a journey back in time where my childhood is somehow reminded with Octopath Traveler. Square Enix releases a Nintendo Switch exclusive in 2018 that somehow finally reaches me on the PC this year with Microsoft's Game Pass. A game I wanted to always check out, getting lost in translation, so to speak, from 2018 as a game I wished we got on PC or console. Octopath Traveler was developed by Acquire and released by Square Enix for the Nintendo Switch in 2018, Microsoft Windows in 2019, Google Stadia in 2020, and finally the Xbox One in 2021. Surprisingly, so far, no release for the Sony's PlayStation consoles. This role-playing game takes cues from the Super Nintendo era from the 1990s and brings the style and elements back to life with character sprites and textures with 3D environments in HD visuals with lighting effects that completely changes the atmosphere. The game becomes a visual marvel to look at as I play the PC version of the game. Pushing the game to its highest potential and in 4K doesn't push any boundaries, but the look and feel of the design truly makes the journey that much more enticing to see through. I usually talk about the story and character development before the actual visuals, but that is what stands out the most. The presentation is fantastic, with the sound and music something to behold as well. The soundtrack is truly masterful, bringing you back to the old Final Fantasy days of old. The gameplay is a fun twist as the player strategizes the weaknesses of the enemy to take advantage could mean life or death. When you find a weakness, the enemy breaks in attack, losing a turn or more. This allows you to attack more in order to gain the upper hand. There are many times where you could fight larger bosses and enemies that is gearing up for a big hit to wipe out your entire party to get just cancelled by a break move and can literally save your party when delivered at the right time. With the art direction and design of the enemies and magic and different ways of attack from the heroes you meet, you realize the potential of your party to use them in the right way and that really gives you a sense of satisfaction throughout the game's randomized battles. Hey! Hey! 
this is where the highlights end. Although extremely fun to play, the eight travelers and their respective storylines, I didn't feel the need to really complete their story. I really wanted to get to the next chapter just to see what they could do in battle and what new visuals and sound I would be able to see in this new area. I never truly felt connected to the story and its world as it wasn't anything close to the storytelling of older RPGs found in the 1990s. Not to say that none of the stories were memorable, I just didn't get the feeling of caring as much for the main characters. Not to say that this game isn't worth playing at all as it was an absolute blast to play with its incredible art style, with a soundtrack incredible on its own merit, makes the game even more riveting with a fun strategic battle system that doesn't change the genre but enhances it. I just wished more in the character development and story department that would make this almost a perfect JRPG, just when I thought they were pretty much lost. Octopath Traveler gets a 7.5 out of 10 for its wonderful rebirth of the JRPGs of the 1990s brought back with fantastic pixel art and incredible sound with a battle system that will keep you on your toes. That's it for me on this revisit of a game that needs to be played for its sheer art style. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Beho out and great. Take us out of here and I will see you all next upload.